Okay, so we're going to use Euclid's algorithm to find the greatest common divisors of these two pairs of numbers. First one is 3065 and 712, and then after that we're going to have a go at 897 and 481. So Euclid's algorithm, how does it work? So first of all, what we do, we write this, the largest number, 3065, and then we make that equal to something times 712. So we're going to multiply something by 712 to get close to this, which will then give us a remainder, which we're going to add on here. So what number do we multiply 712 to get just below 3065, or even equal to if we can? Now we can multiply, so quickly see 7 fours are 28, so if we multiply this by 4, so let's put that by 4, 4 times 712 is 2848, so that will give us 217 left over. Okay, so now what do we do? So the system is now, is we take these two numbers and we carry on down on the next line, similar method here. So the 712 we now put here, and we let that equal something times 217 plus a remainder, as we did here. Okay, so 217 into 712 with a little remainder. So we quickly see that if we multiply that by three, we get 651. So three twos are six, 317s are 51, 651. And that will give us 651 off 712. That will give us 49 plus 12, that's 61 left over. Okay, so we still haven't found the greatest common divisor just yet. We just need to continue all the way down until we get to the end. So now 217 comes here, and then that equals something times this 61. Okay, so again, 61 multiplied by what is just under 217? Well, that's going to be 3, isn't it? So 3. 3 times 61 is 183. 183 off 217, that's going to give us 34. Okay, so add again, repeat again. 61 now comes here, following this method. So 61 equals something times 34. Okay, with a little remainder, let's not forget that. So 34 times 1 will give us 34 and then with 27 left over. Okay, this keeps going and going. Bring this one down. 34 equals something times 27. So that'd be one times 27. And then seven left over. Okay, keep going again. 27 equals something times seven. Seven threes are 21, so it's going to be, so 27 is it, yeah, seven threes are 21. Let's bring that there. Seven threes are 21, plus six left over. Okay, and again, seven equals something times six. So I bring the six here. One times six is six, with one left over. Okay, so now we've got a one here. So that one will tell us here now that this is relatively co-prime. So therefore the greatest common divisor of these is going to be one. So whenever you get a one at the end there, because now what would happen is we put six equals something times one, well that's six times one. So we know but the greatest common divisor here is going to be one. So these are relatively, what's called relatively co-prime. So the only one is the co, the relatively, uh, sorry, one is the greatest common divisor. So after all that, there is no greatest common divisor except one. Okay, 897, 481. So again, following the system that we set up with, pick the lar largest number, 
897. That equals something times 481 plus a remainder. Well, 481 times 2 is 962, so it's going to be 1. So that's going to leave us with a quite a big remainder. So 897 off four, with 481 taken off it is 416. Okay, so same system as before. Bring the 481 out front, and that equals something times the 416 with the remainder again. So 481, 416, it's just going to be 1 multiplied by. Okay, what's the remainder? 481 minus 416 gives us 65. Okay, carry on. 416, bring out front. That equals something times the 65 with the remainder. So 416 is 65 times 6 is 390 so it's going to be 6 390 of 416 leaves us with 26 okay let's continue 65 that equals something times the 26 plus the remainder well 226 is a 52 so that's pretty straightforward and then 226 is 52 off 65 leaves us 13 left over. Okay, now this is looking promising. 26 equals something times 13 plus a remainder. Okay, well, I think we cracked it here now. 2 times 13 is 26 with zero remainder. So when you get a zero remainder, that's always good news if you're looking for a greatest common divisor that is not one. So zero signifies the end. So therefore, the greatest common divisor is actually going to be 13. And that is our answer. So here a one when it's relatively co-prime. Here when it's made up of composite numbers, which are common to both big numbers there. In this case, it's 13. Okay.